My name is Steven Mohapi. I go by the name of Stivoski. I'm part of the Meerkat Squad. I am Duna from the Meerkat Squad. My name is Lesohot Lailani, and I'm part of the Meerkat Squad. My name is Judah, Dagi Gone Wild, Impela. Uh, I'm part of Meerkat Squad. Today, the Meerkat Squad are here at uh, Ironman 4x4 in Alberton. We are fitting Ironman suspension. Mir Kaskar is a group of guys that met uh, through social media. You know, we each were doing this um, overlanding thing individually. And, and, you know, over time you start saying, you know, it'll be nice, you know, you want to actually explore a more adventurous type of um, routes and those kind of things, but it'd be nice to actually have a support vehicle with you. And, you know, when looking around, you start bumping into guys that you are, have got maybe the same type of, you know, like-mindedness and the same type of passion. And like, uh, can we actually meet up? Let's see whether we can actually, you know, click uh, first of all and, and we can get along and let's see whether we can do this thing together. Um, we all train 4x4, we all have um, certificates in terms of 4x4 driving, so we are all competent. Uh, so if somebody gets stuck, we always fight to who gets to recover this one. Well, with the guy, being the guy with the Ford, so you can imagine, I always fight to <laughs> recover the guys, but yeah, um, they, they never let me. <laughs> yeah, so we grew up from there, and then other guys from Instagram, then we put ourselves together in a group. Had our first trip on the 13th of February. That's when we had our first trip. People started seeing what we do and come to us and say, hey guys, can you, can you take me along, can you? And then we came up with some ideas of, um, uh, you know, having trips, preparing the trips. And then we know that we're going directly on those trips. And then anybody who wants to come with, they can join us and enjoy the experience with us. So that's how then the trip section of Mirkat then got started, so yeah. We felt that the name was, was all inclusive. We felt that you know everybody could relate to it, and, and especially if you come from a country like ours, you know you thought, okay, this kind of name it'll actually speak to everybody. It's, it's about you know everybody can actually relate to this, and everybody will know that symbolic animal around this, and and that's how we got to the name, and we all liked it, and and it stuck. Uh, I've had this uh, Toyota Hilux 2.8 GD6 for close to four years. Now it's going for for four years. The Hilux was the one that was. Uh, more appealing to me because it had all the features that I was looking for power-wise and all that. And then when I found it on the internet, that's when I was like, no, this is the one that I should go for. Uh, building an overlanding vehicle, it's a journey. So as and when the needs change, then uh, your suspension also gets affected. And that's the reason why I have to come to Ironman, get a suspension that will handle all the load that I need to also give me the comfort that I need when I go off-road. My vehicle is a 2012 uh, FJ Cruiser, uh, four liter V6. Um, you know, it, it's, it's got its, uh, its, its advantages and disadvantages. Its advantages is probably can go anywhere. Um, and I love the way that the, the car drives and the comfort around that. The disadvantage is space, but, but I make do with that. You know, looking back um, at the suspension and the setup that I've currently got, I've, I've, I've kind of like, you know, with the, the additional knowledge to, that I've gathered now, I've kind of like looked at the, the Ironman foam cell pros, and, and those seem to be more appropriate for my applications, for the kind of stuff I get into. And that's exactly one of the reasons why now I'm actually changing the suspension. Um, I'm changing the, to that suspension so that it can meet more my needs and, and the kind of things that I get up to. I got into 4 by 4 wing through observing, you know, Ricks passing my home when I was growing up. Um, I grew up in the Mohalakwena area close to the Botswana border, the Martin Strip border. Um, so every Friday there will be these old stallions and cruisers passing through with boats, fishing rods, um, and we, just, we used to say they are going camping. Uh, but I always wondered what, 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 what are they doing and, and I wanted to be, to be like that. I drive a 2010 Toyota Hilux um, D4D auto, uh, bought it with about 72,000 kilometers, um, and that has been my rig ever since. We chose Ironman because of the foam cell suspension that they've put. Um, I've seen how it rides, I've seen the flex, the weight that it carry, and besides that, just you know, from an overlander's perspective, 
carrying more weight on suspension that is not adequate uh, and the roads and that we travel um, is a bit dicey. So that's why we are here and that's why I'm changing my suspension. I named uh, uh, the vehicle Tukuru, so this is my 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 beast. Uh, the Toyota guys don't like it following them all the time, but yeah, it's here to stay and it does its thing. So uh, I'm still gonna see Tukuru for a, probably a couple of years time to, to come. Tukuru, it's a Tswana word that means rhino. Um, rhino in a sense that it's a it's a beast. It's one of the larger. Um, larger animals, African animals. It's thick-skinned, as you need to be. You can imagine with a lot of things that we go through. One in the bush, uh, as a person. Um, so there's a lot of things that you need to be thick-skinned on. So <laughs> maybe that's one of the biggest traits of it. I've driven a vehicle that has the Iron Man uh, uh, foam cell pro uh, suspension, and I'm looking forward to feeling how it's gonna drive. Firstly, when you get into a four x four store, there's anxiety for as a black person, to be honest. When you walk in, you expect somebody to walk in, welcome you and make you comfortable. You, firstly, you don't know. You've got interest to start into this, start into the lifestyle, but you don't know anything about suspension. You just see the brands, you don't, you, even if you watch a video, you cannot relate. It doesn't hit home. It doesn't, you, you are not an authority in understanding that. Of course, you know, not many black people do this thing, um, but, um, I think I met quite a few people along the line that were good in welcoming us into the, into the industry and they, they really took our hand to help us through. Uh, one of the places is definitely Iron Man. Um, they did the, the snorkel, I think it's somewhere in 2020 as well. They did the battery system. And I felt home, I met actually a friend of mine, Itu Meleng, uh, he did the suspension here and his roof racks and he would tell me, hey, let's go to Iron Man. <laughs> and, uh, and then introduced me to Cristo, we started chatting on WhatsApp and then talking, what do I wanna do, what are my plans, and then get codes on it. And, and this guy also that used to work here. So the, you know, the experience was wonderful. And then that I got comfortable with, uh, with what I wanna do and the advice that you get. You can go to this campsite, you can do this. If you have a dream of doing overlanding, go for it. I know as young people, we like uh, exotic cars, our sports cars. But uh, trust me, your sports car won't take you where this thing has taken me. Um, I've seen places I've never dreamed I would see. Um, just go for it, take the dream, go for it. Start slow, but uh, go for it. So, so if there's a young overlander who wants to start, you know, not to say that I'm an expert myself in the sense that, yes, I've been doing this for a while, but, but, but the thing about it, the key is that you've got to keep telling yourself that it's actually a continuous learning uh, thing so that you don't actually get yourself into quite a mess. So you always got to keep an open mind, make sure that you're always learning. Um, but the advice I'd give somebody is that, you know, once you've decided on the vehicle, regardless of what people might tell you about brands, this brand, that. It's, it's, it's mainly about the, the vehicle's capability. A lot of brands out there produce quite good vehicles. It's about once you've decided on that vehicle, take your time and engage with people that have been doing it for a while just to get their understanding of what kind of equipment and those kind of things that you'd need before you go out and just kit out your car. Because I can almost guarantee you now, if you go out and kit it out, you probably will change it um, after a while. And, and, and what's helped with me is that, you know, um, I've, I've, been, uh, I've been quite fortunate enough to engage with some of the guys that have been doing this for quite a while, you know, with some of the discussions that I've had with some of the guys, for example, here at Ironman, like Chris Tu is a good sounding board where I've actually had to chat with him a couple of times to say, ah, I'm thinking about doing this and this, how would it work out and stuff. And he would kind of give some advice around that because they're in this industry for a while. And, and I would say that that's probably the biggest advice is that, you know, take your time doing it, and, and don't rush into it, and don't let people influence you on which vehicle to buy. I mean, at the end of the day, if it's got four by four capability, if that's the brand you like, I think that's where you should go. Just makes uh, the entire thing, or just being a part of a Mirkat Squad member, uh, something that you've always uh, wished, that it, it has always been there, and it's something that you wish that it will continue for years to come. Um, the level of excitement, uh, um, you know, it might not show in my face, but 
but I'm pretty excited about this. Um, and it, it's, uh, I'm pretty excited not only about just the suspension itself, but just about the, the relationship that you know we're actually you know forming with the guys here now. Because um, what it means now, it means that you've just got an additional you know uh, a group of of, of 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 guys that you or experts that you can actually call on and actually engage with around actually making sure that when you actually when we're developing through this journey. We, we actually have some guidance and the right guidance that will actually make sure that you know we, we are doing the stuff correctly, well as correct as you can be. Yeah, this is it's one of one of the fests of many of Iron Man and Mirka Squad and Stivoski, and I'm looking forward to it. I think one of the best experiences personally when I started fitting the vehicle was, to be honest, was with Iron Man, and uh, I think definitely if you want to kit out your vehicle, and this is maybe the best place to start. Without saying without a because of being a brand ambassador or anything, it's just I've had the experience with just for me just coming to the shop and getting whatever products. The experience has always been top notch, irrespective of who, who sits at the at the desk.